All right, guys. This is Cotton. And let's see if I can get her up here. His sister, Lolly. And uh, and we're just going to go through a day in the life. I'm going to try and kind of talk my way through this in real time. I'm not super into editing, so hopefully these earbuds work. If not, we'll get us a lavalier mic or something. But um, really, I just want to start. We got some 10-week-old puppies. Um, they've been getting daily walks, been getting fed, been getting their vaccinations. And now, um, this isn't all completely new, but we are on to what I consider kind of uh, the environmental desensitization phase of training. We can do a little hand feeding as we go, um, but mostly... All I really want out of these pups is to just get accustomed to new environments, uh, novel items, things that create a lot of noise and are impressive uh, in terms of whatever their sensory perception may be, and tight spaces, whatever else. So these guys for me are going to be detection prospects. Um, they may, you know, and the way I normally do this is if I, uh, if it, you know, it, what it, what's required of a detection prospect primarily is environmental stability. So it, without environmental stability, it's a no go. They've got to have a certain level of drive. A lot of my trainer friends can bring out a lot of driving dogs. They can use food. They can use toy. Um, but certainly we want a high baseline for pre both prey and food. We want an environmentally stable dog. And, you know, we just, and, and when I say environmental stability, that's going to encompass all the social behaviors and everything too. We don't want reactive dogs. We don't want spooky dogs in any way. We don't want dogs that, um, that are afraid of people or any kind of place. So, I'm getting them accustomed to the tub. We'll also, at some point, get some water in the tub and get them playing around there. So I'm going to just get them chasing my hand a little bit, if they will. This is new for them. A little hand feeding, a little food in the crate. And you can see Cotton here is the male. And he's just a little more slow to try new things. And that's okay. It doesn't mean, you know, there's, they've still got a ton of developing to do, both emotionally and physically. And... Uh, and a lot, oftentimes you see pups at this age of 10 weeks and, you know, right now Lolly's a little bit ahead in terms of her boldness and confidence, but that may shift. And we've got some fear periods ahead of us. We've got TV, all these things. And, uh, and so right now, mostly what we're doing is just a little bit of this. And so we'll move on inside here, uh, before long, um, We'll take them on long walks. I'll take you guys on a walk with me. We'll bring my kid along, and he's a really good, he does a great job of exposing the dogs to all the, the social issues they may face as we move along, and then we'll get them out in the broader world as they continue to age, get their next set of vaccinations on them. But really, this is it for the day. As simple as this. You got puppies. They need to be on the ground. It's a good, this is a good way to start introducing them to working for their food, new environments, new places. I'm going to add something real quick before, before it's said and done. I use this bucket for all sorts of stuff. Um, no good reason other than it kind of makes some noises. It's, it's again, novel. It creates a new challenge for them. Later on, they'll be getting fed in this bucket. I kind of treat it like the Nepo Po box. I'm not looking for quite as much of the stylized stuff right now, anyway. I'm, I'm really fascinated by Nepo Po, and I'm just learning as I go along. But a lot of the principles um, are things that I've been carrying with me for a long time. It's just a really neat way of thinking about how to put them in specific orders to achieve certain objectives, and I like that a lot. And so, uh, so we're we're playing with that, learning as we go. Again challenges for these puppies, um, learning how to work for their food, getting exposed to all sorts of novel stimuli. And, uh, and so we'll leave it there and we'll pick up here in a day or two.